Hattie Guy has dolls out there in YouTube land. Uh, your favorite little fat girl dub in here. And if I'm not, yes I am. Don't even try that. <laughs> anyway, um, y'all see me all giggling this stuff here. My kid has only just got home and he's already aggravating me. And like I've started this video over like three times because he was picking at his toe and and messing with his hair and doing all kinds of nonsense behind me. And, and like I tried to start it again and he, he cursed out loud just so I'd have to stop. And I had to smack him. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, this is my week 12 weigh in and update of the keto uh, ketosis diet, whatever you want to call it. Keto ketosis ketogenic. Anyway, um, it was a pretty interesting week. As many of you know, I had. Um, posted a video on Thursday because I reached my first short-term goal, which was 275, and that's 275 from 311. So that was excellent by Thursday, and I probably shouldn't have, but I went ahead and done it because my, I was actually very well fat adapted. My weight was dropping pretty pretty good, and uh, I decided to go ahead and do my cheat day, my planned cheat day, on Saturday at my family reunion or because of my family reunion. I kind of wish I had now. There was nothing there I really wanted. There was, you know, I was looking for some banana pudding. There was none. And uh, <laughs> so I had like a one inch square of chocolate cake and a, um, they always make barbecue. They get a piggy and cut him up and all that good stuff. So, um, I had a barbecue sandwich. It was on a bun. That's a cheat. Along with that chocolate cake. And I had a couple sips of the canned Dr. Pepper before my poor little grandbaby ended up getting hurt. And uh, he blistered the palm of his hand, his wrist, and uh, got a bunch of scrapes down his uh, forearm. Uh, it could have been much worse. Luckily, his daddy was right there at him and was able to grab him up real fast. Um, they had a little bit of a fire pit thing out there, but it, it had long since been out. It was out when we got there. Apparently, they had used it early in the morning, and as the day warmed up, it was 77 degrees. So, of course, they just let it go out. And uh, by the time we got there, it was out. However, the ash was still hot. And he fell with his hand inside the pit. Um, normally, they wouldn't be allowed to play around that. But since it was out, nobody was really thinking like that. And the kids had initially been playing about 20 feet away. And my son was standing at the fire pit talking to his buddy. And his son came running over to him. And another little girl was running up behind him. And he stopped. She didn't. And he toppled. And... My son grabbed him up real fast. So, he did get hurt, but he is okay. Uh, we did rush him inside and start doctoring on him and getting him creams and everything he needed. It, it, he's going to be fine. Later that afternoon, his other grandma picked him up, and she's been doctoring on him um, for the weekend. She likes to spend weekends with him because that's her time off. And uh, she's been calling me and sending me photos, let me know how he's doing, and he's okay. And I even talked to him. He told me he loved me, he missed me, he'd be here today, and that he was feeling better. So that's excellent. But anyway, um, later that evening, since uh, we didn't really do much for the family reunion or even stay long or um, eat much, uh, I conned my kid, this one back here, into spending his money and taking me to Wendy's. <laughs> anyway, we had the three piece chicken tenders. Uh, with the sauce and sauce, if you're going on a cheat day, I definitely recommend you try that. If not, don't touch it. It's bad for you. No. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's pretty decent. Uh, I went ahead and had a Powerade Zero with it, though, because why drink the calories if you don't got to? But later in the evening, in true fat girl behavior, I thought, well, this is my last cheat day for a while, and I'm going to make it worth it. <laughs> so I took my butt to the store. And bought me a Mountains Bar and a can of Dr. Pepper. So, yeah, I had some Dr. Pepper in my Mountains Bar, which was good. And uh, I ended my cheat day on that note. And all together that, you know, on the day, on uh, Saturday, I did go 95 calories over my normal calories. And instead of having just 20 carbs, I had 242 carbs, which is a lot. It is a yikes kind of lot. But I'm one and done. We'll be doing that again for at least three months. Um, and I probably won't go as crazy next time. 
honestly, this time I didn't get sleepy and tired like um, I had been getting if you accidentally break ketosis. And maybe it's because I just went full hog and done it all. But I don't know. But anyway, I started out that day at 275.2. And by the end of the day, on my cheat day, I was 281.6. So in water weight, it was like a 6 pound, 6.4 pound water weight retention because of all the carbs. Now, it's not all that unusual to gain water weight all day anyway, even if you're on keto or not. Your weight's going to fluctuate. You're going to start out low and work your way high, go to bed, sleep all night, and get up. And you should be at a lower weight again tomorrow. Or at least the same weight you were yesterday, by tomorrow. Um... I can't breathe. My allergies are just kicking me right on in the head, or I guess right in the nose, so to speak. But anyway, I also had uh, TMI. Put your fingers in your ears if you don't want to hear it. But I also started my period again. Uh, and like I said last time, I've had an IUD for nine years and no periods. And thanks to this diet, I'm on period number two. Not happy. Don't like it. <laughs> uh, but if, again, if you're PCOS or you're trying to conceive, I guess this really is the way to go because it does straighten natural hormones and make things regular, that even if you don't want them at all. <laughs> uh, also, I've checked my pH balance. My pH balance is perfect. It used to be just extremely low. I mean, like, no balance at all. And now it's it's right where it's supposed to be. It's like the 7.0 range. And that's awesome. So, after Saturday, after my cheat day, I started right back into uh, my diet on Sunday morning. And uh, I've had no problems. Now, I, I haven't had any cravings. Like, I really wanted some sugars or sweets or something like that really bad. But I did have um, just extra hunger. And I guess because I broke the ketosis, I was not fat adapted at the time, that it just, you want to eat more. And so on Sunday, I did have extra hunger. I kept it below my uh, calorie count with no problem, but I did want more. Uh, and I did want to eat more often. So I just kind of went with it and just kept it as low as I could. And I didn't do bad. I, I stayed well under my calorie count yesterday. So I woke up this morning. I took my measurements. <laughs> and I um, took my weight. Now, I don't know if it's going to fluctuate or go back up or go back down over the next few days. I will let you know that next week. But for this week, I am still 275.2. I started at 311. Last week, I was 277.2. This week, 275.2. No, 277.6. Sorry, I'm just... 275.2. So, um, for the week, it's a 2.4 pound loss, and I lost six inches. Six inches! Yay! And all together, that is a 36.8 pound loss, and all together in the 12 weeks, it's 39 and a half inches lost. Can you believe that? 39 and a half inches. I'm thrilled with the scale number. I am beyond thrilled with the measurement number. I absolutely love seeing that. And I can tell it, you know, obviously in my gut and all that. And that's awesome. Uh, so here we go again. I'm just going to tell you about some of the places that the weight came off. My neck got about a half inch smaller. My upper arm got about a half inch smaller. My bust got a, my boobies got about a half inch smaller. <laughs> my bra line got about a fourth of an inch long, smaller. My waist got one was it 1.3, One and three fourth inches more. It's almost two inches, but not quite. Um, my hips actually got an inch fatter. <laughs> so, I don't know where the hell that, how that happened, but it did. Or, it might be the pants I'm wearing because they're a little thicker than normal. And they did bunch up some on me when I was trying to do my measurements. So, anyway. Uh, I lost an inch in each calf. I ain't gonna complain about it. Probably back in a couple hours, but I did. I lost an inch and a half around my face. Like, just, you know, around here. I can kind of tell it. Yeah, I can tell it. But I don't know if anybody else will be able to. So anyway, altogether I lost seven inches this week. But since I went up uh, as far as I could tell an inch of my, my hips, I went ahead and uh, just set it six inches down. 
And I mean, that is pretty awesome. Gonna show y'all some pictures real fast if I come. I don't know how this is gonna work because I'm using my Kindle, but we will find out if it works good or not. Not so much, huh? Let's see. Well, we are getting a heck of a reflection there. Alright, I don't think this Kindle idea was gonna work. What in the world? <laughs> see. Well, anyway, the one with the red writing is my first picture. The one with the uh, yellow writing is my most recent, like last week. I can tell the difference. Don't know if anybody else can. Definitely in my ass and in my rolls. <laughs> so, you know, we'll just have to see about all that eventually. Try one more if I can. And again, I can tell the difference. I don't know if anybody else will be able to. But the red writing, of course, is my first one. My last one was this second one over here. There we go. Right here. And, uh, I, again, I can tell the difference. I don't know if anybody else can. But, uh, those are on Pinterest. And my link is below if you want to just see them for yourself. Um, and I'm very happy with that. Everything that's going on thus far. I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, we'll get back with you next week. And if you like this video, which is kind of plain and boring, you do know you're showing, like, all your goodies. Ah, my shirt's pull up enough. <sighs> like and subscribe. This is my daughter who is a quitter. <laughs> She'll go back to it. And you're pulling my hair, child. At some point, once we have the money and everything, it's a little more expensive than my normal anyway, stuff. Anyway, y'all be good and I'll talk to you later.